Hello, hello. Okay, so I have a little bit here eating, not breastfeeding, just eating. <laughs> um, I'm not brave enough for that yet. But I wanted to talk to you guys about seasons. Um, I've been doing some research. Of course, I'm always doing research to try to learn. And I found out, which it kind of makes sense that when the winter rolls around, you notice more static. Um, and I really didn't put two and two together, but um, I'm gonna share with you guys about when the seasons change, so does our hair, and how we, um, the, the elements and the things that affect us, and how we can go about um, preventing it, not really preventing it, but helping it. Um, it's really not preventable, if that makes sense. So, for those of you who don't know me, I feel like I haven't ever introduced myself officially. My name is Tommy Nicole. Um, I am fairly new to this, but I have found that um, I have fallen in love with it and found a new passion. I thought health and fitness was my core passion. Um, it just goes to show that something that you kind of put the, I can't really do because I was holding a bottle, this up, that um, it can be something that is God's opening a new door for you. So, anyways. Um, I just want to share a little insight. Hi, Linda. How are you? I haven't talked to you in a while. Um, but let's talk about the seasons. So, and I have notes again, so hang tight with me. One thing that I, when I think about the seasons change and about how the static really affected me, it can be pretty dramatic, especially for people who have really fine, um, thin I don't want to say fine, fine thin hair. I mean, that static can be out of control. And one thing I learned, um, I don't know the science behind it, so I can't give you the science, but the less daylight, we tend to lose more hair. Um, I hope I'm in the right place. Hi guys, hi Adrian. And then in the darker months, so the winter months, we had tend to have slower hair growth, which I, I haven't really noticed that, I don't think, but I mean, it's pretty legit because everything that I looked at set, claimed it. So another thing that um, we tend to face is when there's changes in the atmosphere, so the pressure, the moisture, um, whatever, both outside and in, because you think about it, when it gets cold outside, we start turning the heat on, we start burning our wood stoves, our fireplaces, um, and some of us might even add a little extra heat with our kitchen oven right here because I'm so cold natured. Um, so we, we change that, that atmosphere both in and out and that tends to have effect on our hair. Um, some of the triggers it can cause is static, dryness, dry itchy skin. So when your dry, skin's dry and itchy, you gotta think about your scalp too. Hi, Ree. This is just part name of the game. And then also flaking skin. It just has a chance to increase that. Also, um, we know this, that cold air is, my skin is so sensitive that when the cold hair hits, I automatically have a more itchy, dry skin that I tend to have to even moisture more so. I'm one of those people that I always moisturize right out of the shower and I even use coconut oil now, but um, I have to do it even more so in the winter months and I because I cannot stand that um, itchy feeling. It just drives me bat poop crazy, to be honest. Um, so another thing, when, when, it's, when it starts freezing, that necessarily means that it's gonna eliminate moisture out of the air and that moisture out of the air affects us by the, what we get in our hair. I'm sorry guys, this is just part of it. So, okay, um, moving on. So when we start our furnaces, our stoves, and we also, we're also pulling that moisture out of the air. So some of the ways to keep the moisture in your house would be to have a humidifier or to, um, I also used to boil um, a pot of water on my stove just to add a little extra moisture, especially when my son was little because he has such issues with some dry itchy noses and different things like that. It tend to help a lot more. Um, then you gotta think about when it's cold, we start adding hats, scarves, sweaters, bulkier collars, all those things. Oh, she's gonna get mad. She's gonna get mad. And those tend to um, add stress on our hair. And the specific stress would be brittleness, tangling, rough, dry, um, feeling hair. It causes it to, you know how it just kind of, when your hair's dry, that, I don't know what I'm wanting to say, how the texture of it, that just increases it even more so. So, there are a few fixes that you guys can do. They're not permanent, they're not long standing, they're just gonna help it. So, one of the biggest things is long standing moisture. So, 
that would be an oil. And for us, for this group, and for anybody out there that cares, our Rejuvenique oil would be great for that. I use it as a night treatment about once every two weeks. I could probably do it once every week. And then I do it on my hair before I put any heat on my hair, just around the ends. So, um, and if you know my story at all, before I started with Monet, I could not use oil in my hair at all. I had one of those hairs that <laughs> you would wash it, and the next day I could comb it back and it would stay put because it was so oily. Um, now I actually add oil to my hair and I mean look at it. I washed this hair yesterday. No, yeah last night I actually washed it last night and so I'm pretty impressed and then um, Longer contact time with your conditioner and I know that for some you're not supposed They recommend not putting the conditioner on your roots and different things like that Especially if you're more prone to oily skin however I do now and I leave it on longer um, if I feel like I'm having some issues with some dryness or if I've been using you know if I've curled my hair for several days in a row different things like that also and then um, also our re restore leave-in conditioner it can help lock and lock in moisture fight frizz flyaways and it helps with that dry rough feeling so I have yet to use our restore leave-in conditioner um, just because I like to use the conditioner in the shower but I'm gonna give it a test out this winter and just see because I love the way my hair feels and I don't want to have to deal with that dryness and that staticness staticness and the um, all the other stuff that comes along with those winter months so if you guys feel like you have any issues with that or you feel like that that's something that you don't want to battle please reach out to the person that invited you and um, that put you in this group and just chat with them about it. It doesn't mean that you have to jump on board. It doesn't mean you have to commit, but just get uh, find that information. And if you haven't done the hair quiz, I highly recommend it just because it's going to give you insight on what's best for your hair. So I hope this gives you guys some um, idea of how to battle those winter months right as we're coming out of the summer months that we're battling that dryness with the chlorine and different things. But um, get a head start on the winter months, and that way you can uh, feel your best and not have to worry about the frizz and the flyaways and the static. So thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.